Hello everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Chef. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Okay, so we're at the end of our work day here and basically as soon as I unpause it, we're gonna see that uh, we're kind of in a, we're gonna see what our financial situation is and I'm, we'll build a bet we're definitely losing money today because I did spend a considerable amount of money today on these new little things. Uh, I wanna talk about something that I that was brought up in a comment and I, uh, I really appreciate uh, all the comments. Thank you so much for that. Um, one of them was actually really helpful in understanding the stuff. Uh, so very cool. I'm just gonna give a quick example of this here. So I'm looking to get, let's say I'm looking to get upper class families, right? Now I'm seeing ambience. It says rustic 10 and a half and it's got like this meh look to it, right? And this doesn't mean that, uh, this is the part that was confusing me. This doesn't mean that this amount of rustic is like meh to them, all right? It doesn't mean that I have to add more rustic to get them in the door. What it means is that they're kind of meh about the rustic stuff. They don't hate it, they don't love it, but you know, it's decorative and it's nice. And I'm only getting half credit for this. That's why it's 10 and a half here instead of, you know, 21. So what I wanted, what I really need to do is I need to decorate my restaurant to cater to the people that I really want to come to the restaurant, right? And that is the difficult part because if I take a look at the city, what I really want are high paying customers, right? I mean, that's that's the bottom line here, right? And uh, we don't exactly have a whole lot as far as like the upper class families in our district, right? We don't exactly have a whole lot in terms of the upper class tourists, right? And um, you know, we have some food enthusiasts we might be able to get, but what we really need to get to is we need to get to places like the suburbs district here because this is where the higher income families are, the upper class families, there's a lot of those guys there. So if I wanna cater to people who have more money, then that's what I should do. Here's my big problem though, right? And I think we're gonna see that as I unpause is that I'm probably losing a considerable amount of money here because I'm trying to cater some really good dishes, right? Really high quality dishes. Um, but I'm doing it for like the cheapskates and stuff, which I, I get it. Like that's where you're supposed to start. And I think I, I don't think I messed up in trying to cater to them initially. But see, the people who I really want to cater to, right, are not the cheapskates. Right? These guys are, by definition, they're real cheap. They're not going to spend a lot of money. What I need to do is find people who really want good food. They appreciate a good great quality food and they're willing to pay extra for it right that's who i need to get and the average expense of the cheapskates is nine dollars and ten cents um vegans is actually even less than that what i need to do is try to get a hold of some of these upper class and also really draw in the food enthusiasts because their their average price is quite high right so that's what i got to work on today but i'm just hoping that i have enough time to do it before going bankrupt but Having a good understanding of this system is is actually really it's really nice, right? So like white collar, rustic is a frowny face. Now this doesn't mean that we need more rustic for them, right? That, that's where my brain was going with that. What it means is that they hate rustic. And the more rustic I put in, it has a negative effect of them coming in my restaurant, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take away some of this rustic because I think I have a lot of rustic in this. Like I have too much, I don't need this much. Now this is gonna eliminate a lot of our demographics through here, but we're gonna add new things that they do like and try to draw them in that way. Um, I think I might leave the rustic up here for now, but we're gonna get rid of some of these plants. We don't need this many, at least not that kind of plant, right? So we're up to 1800 now, and this is before the start of the new day. These bamboo vases, vase, uh, they are modern points. So I'm gonna add one point of modern here and we're gonna see what these guys think of modern. And the upper class tourists, they really like modern. So we're getting extra bonuses for that kind of thing, right? But we have so much rustic that they're not likely to come and get it, right? Take a look at upper class family. They're kind of meh about the uh, the rustics. They're okay with it, but they really want, they really don't like modern. Um, they most likely like the elegance which I don't have a whole lot of those types of customers for today, but we're gonna try to get ourselves appealing to those other people later, right? So what I really need to do is I need to get people who are higher paying customers, which in this case, it looks like food enthusiasts don't like modern either. That's probably not good then. So why don't we get rid of, I can't click the vase there. Let's get rid of the vase. 
And let's look at elegance. Uh, this adds three points of elegance. I just want to see what this does to our like ratings for food enthusiasts. Okay, so food enthusiasts are really interested in the elegant stuff, and so are the upper class families. So if we start making this place a bit more elegant, I bet you we'll get a considerable more, like we'll get more of the higher paying customers. As long as we get into the markets where they are, oh, look at this, $550, that adds five to elegant. This is a different wine shelf. Ooh, look at that wine shelf, that's awesome. Well, that thing is cool. Very cool. And you see with that, we get the lower class families. Very nice. We get the lower class tourists as well. Although they're kind of eh, about elegant. We still have a lot of rustic, so they're kind of out of it, but they are at least check marked. So they'll at least like it. And the food enthusiasts are also going to show up. Cool. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to try and balance this out just a little bit. Cause I think the cheap skates will probably come in anyway. We don't need blue collar workers. I'm actually going to try and just kind of omit that from the from our like we don't need the check mark in here because they just want service really really fast and a lot of our food takes a long time to cook so i'm not really interested necessarily in catering to them i'm gonna throw this away let me see what other types types of things we can do that adds a little bit more elegance uh to the to the place um we don't have oh a luxury mirror really two hundred dollars for a mirror okay uh <laughs> This is a little bit weird. Uh, does it fit here? I don't think it actually goes there. It's not letting me place that. It's gonna have to be on this side then. All right, you're gonna have a mirror so you can check what you look like before you're seated. How's that sound? Bam, like that. So there's 10 elegance in here now. I think they'll really like it, but mostly I'm looking to get these guys and these guys, right? There's just not quite enough elegance yet to start drawing in the upper class families but that's okay lower class families are still going to come in uh as long as we can get some of the vegan and vegetarian they do not like elegance so weird right like i don't like the idea that d decorations directly affect who's going to go in on such a like such a strict number basis like this i, I don't i don't really like how that system is designed um we're gonna put for 210 dollars we're gonna put a couple more of these in it's going to add a little bit more of the rustic that these guys tend to like but it's still not quite enough because there's a lot of elegance now it's giving us a negative for that so i think maybe maybe we'll take down the mirror wow damn that sucks go here okay now i'm not getting any of these guys either um still not getting the vegans or the vegetarians yeah, so like playing around with decorations, which I really don't know if that's like a great part of the game or not, you know, like, oh, also um, we have new tables and stuff now, but the part that it's getting me also is that these tables don't add any rating. Like the modern table doesn't add any modern rating to your restaurant, which I find to be a bit weird, you know, and some of these are cheaper than normal tables, but still seat the same number of people. And they don't have enough, another rating, right? So this one's 140, has four seats, uh, which is the same as this one has four seats, except this one's 150. And uh, we can do this one for 200, same four seats. So it it's just a weird system is basically where I'm going with this. It's just a it's a weird system. I don't I don't really agree with how they're uh, you know basically forcing demographics to come into my restaurant based on the stuff that's sitting around. But uh, in any case, if I want to have customers come in that are to the target that I'm looking to, to attract, I have to have the stuff in the restaurant that is going to attract them, right? So I'm gonna, if I take out this, is this gonna remove the families? No, the families are still coming in, so are the food enthusiasts. All right, because they really like the elegance. And these guys are only getting half rating on the elegance. Upper class tourists, elegance, really. Very weird. So they must be into the modern stuff. Eventually we're gonna have to have decorations all over the place, but it's just about getting our customers through the door. So if I go ahead and hit spacebar now, uh, I think we're gonna lose a good portion of the money we just got. So let's let it run really quick. Uh, it looks like we get our report around 12.30 and we ended up losing 12.75 today. Okay. But how much of this 
was like furnitures and stuff. So furniture and tools, right? 6875. I don't know if this like is this it's just tools as well. So I don't know how much of this is just us playing around and trying to buy furniture and stuff, right? So it's possible we're making money. We'll see how it goes today. Uh, we also have additional popularity and stuff today as well. So we'll see how it goes. Um, it may not it may not be the best because again, we're not attracting everyone we'd like to. We'd like to get rid of the blue collar workers, honestly. And um, if I pump this place with enough elegance, I bet you I can get upper class families involved. But it's also costing money. It costs a lot of money to go elegant, right? Um, now we also have. Well, hang on. Let's let's go ahead and leave that where it is. I also went ahead and I upgraded some stuff, right? So this blender, the Cheap Brothers 505, right? It has four maintenance costs and it reduces recipe prep time by 5%, right? That's a mixer, Cheap Brothers 505 mixer, right? This is replacing the Grandma's Blender, right? Grandma's Blender is the same exact effect, right? Negative 5% recipe preparation time, but it has eight maintenance instead of four, and it costs 280 instead of the 200. So this is just a flat stat bump. You sell this one, get your 280 back, buy this one, and it costs you half the maintenance and has the exact same effect. So that was pretty good. The other thing that I'm looking into later on is um, the dishwasher, because it adds to the general ambience as well. So I'm gonna be looking to employ that too, but it's $500, so I'm not, like super excited about spending that kind of cash right now. All right, we're gonna speed up time really quick. And let's see what kinds of guests we start attracting here today, because we have a little bit more elegance right now. What I really need is more, I need just to be more popular so I can spread to that other suburb, spread to the suburbs, get them more interested, get more of the higher paying customers in the door. Because I don't think there's really anything wrong with the food. I think the food is actually pretty good. Um, and I got some names and stuff for dishes from you guys too. So actually, let me go into the menu and, and sort that out right now. Um, so the dishes, we have meat stew one. And, um, you know, we look through the different names and stuff that kind of goes through. And there's one that uh, I thought was kind of clever. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start popping these in just from your guys' recommendations, right? Uh, and this one is gonna be Char's Carne Catastrophe. And I'm spelling everything exactly as you guys do. Not to say that it's wrong, but a word like catastrophe, I would probably misspell that. Um, now, somebody else mentioned that they, they were surprised that I didn't include water in my soup. And I guess I just thought that this, when you select soup, that that would be something that was, you know, like done, uh, but clearly not the case. So if I do water, it dilutes everything and brings the quality way down on the soup, right? While costing me nothing, I guess. Uh, so like, is it possible to increase the rating of this while keeping, like if I go less bread, I guess, and I can't do less beef. See, like adding water, it takes the rating down. It makes sense that your stew and your, your food and everything, it makes sense that it would have, you know, like water in it. But uh, like butter, like we take butter out. Somebody else mentioned using olive oil and stuff instead of margarine. Take the butter out. It's still pretty good. Put the olive oil in. The olive oil is $6.37 per kilogram. The margarine is 19. So the olive oil is actually significantly cheaper as well. So we can bring olive oil into this and it might reduce costs just a little bit too. It's still a, quite a bit on the fattiness though. So I kind of need to reduce things that bring down, yeah, there we go, like this. It's a little bit of cream and uh, a little bit of olive oil there. And what do you know it, it's actually raised in value or it actually went up in, in its rating. So we'll overwrite the carne catastrophe 
Um, and that'll be good. And then I want to go into veggie soup because I think the kind of the same thing. If I remove the margarine, and I'm going by your guys' recommendations. I do not cook in real life. I'm not a chef. I'm not someone who even cooks like dinner for his family. My my wife is the cook in the family, and that's just because she's good at it, and I'm not. Um, I'm looking forward to learning, and uh, we'll be having cooking live streams on Twitch, uh, probably with starting within a couple of months from now. We'll have some regular cooking streams on Twitch where. You know, we'll be making interesting things together and hanging out and chatting and I'll be learning how to cook, basically. Um, but for the time being, you know, some of you guys are, are you're just going to be way smarter at this stuff than I am, right? So if I remove the margarine and add olive oil, it doesn't really have a whole lot of change, but it does drop the price. So that's good. Thanks. Um, we'll go ahead and overwrite this. But before I overwrite it, actually, let's just overwrite it anyway. Um, before we overwrite it completely, Veggie Soup 1. I think I like this name a lot and I'm going to use it. This is boneless soup. There you go, boneless soup. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the boneless soup. And uh, if we take a look at the menu, we get boneless soup, Char's chicken doodle, and uh, Char's carne catastrophe. So there you go on the... On the <laughs> and some of your guys' names and stuff is pretty nice. Uh, I do want to get into desserts and stuff eventually as well, because a lot of the higher class people, um, upper class people, I think they really like desserts, right? Let's go into stats, people. And there's going to be some people in here that really like desserts. High budget tourists, they love dessert and wine. Okay, high budget families, seafood and dessert. So they, we have to get into completely different types of food to cater to these people as well because they're gonna come in here and they're not gonna like the food because we don't have what they want. So we need to get a lot better with seafood stuff. So going along that note, I'm thinking we take a look at the seafood category here. Right now we have grilled fish and steamed fish. Now I don't have a steamer, but I do have a grill. So I think I'm gonna pop two points into grilled fish just to get us like to be a little bit better at that. And then Lily, level two on the waiter. Let's get you, uh, let's go greeting and delivery. Spread you out a little bit. Uh, Beatrice, we'll go with delivery and let's say cleaning for the ambience and stuff. And then Cora is the chef. She has a three, level three on the chef, which is great, except like I would love to put her at fitness too, because that would be awesome. But uh, now I'm thinking I really need to focus on desserts and stuff too. So why don't I go down desserts cooking and I'll pop two points in dessert cooking and she can get really good with that kind of stuff so that we can have a good dessert chef. Uh, Santiago as a waiter, we'll get you on there and on writing. Okay, good. Probably should have put you on uh, movement speed and stuff, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna take a look really quick at ingredients and we have two, only two points for this, but if we're gonna cater to these other guys or these, uh, these other families and stuff, we're gonna need really good fish. I love salmon. Salmon is like my favorite fish in the whole wide world, okay? So we're gonna pop two points into getting slightly better salmon. I think that's a good usage of our points. And then I think I really kind of want uh, maybe to make a fish dish. Um, you know, we can go to the recipe editor and maybe make a fish dish. I haven't really given any thought at all to what a fish dish uh, would be like, but um, I'm thinking like I want some grilled fish. It looks like, oh, got the salmon right there already. No, 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 go back there, get, get back there. Um, like grilled fish, I'd have no idea what I want for it. It's gotta be something nice and classy, right? Main course. And uh, I, I'm looking for I'm looking for a name that you guys have pushed. Uh, yeah, Charred Lee's Fish. I kind of like it. All right, Charred. Again, I'm spelling it just like you guys are recommending. So it's not these aren't my names. Charred Lee's Fish. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be like my salmon, right? Um, and I'm actually gonna, I'll I'll modify the fish to say salmon because um, we might have other fish dishes and I don't want to get it confused. So this is Charred Lee's Salmon. Okay. Uh, the first thing we'll need to add then is, of course, the salmon. This will be a two-point salmon. Um, now, to get this to be good and required, we need to use the seafood tag ingredient on high quantity, 120 grams or more. All right, so I think I'll just pop this up to 120 right now. That'll be where we're at for this. It's $3 cost on this right now, which is kind of eh. Um, and then we're going to take a look at what kinds of stuff we would like to go with the fish. Whenever I have salmon dishes and stuff, 
Like there's there's always like a good like supply of vegetables and stuff, but I don't really have the stuff that I normally have with fish. Like the, the problem is we have very limited ingredient choices right now because we haven't unlocked them, right? And uh, going along that note, I'm kind of digging the idea of incorporating pasta in with the salmon. Um, I know they don't, the upper class people don't hate carbs. Um, so we could, we could actually take the fresh pasta, which is pretty expensive. But if we take the fresh pasta and go level two with it, maybe bring this down to, I don't know, we can bring this down to like, say, sort of like a s accessory. It's not, it's there, but it's not really like a main part of the dish, right? So like 50, like a little bit of pasta on the side kind of thing. Um, I don't know if, I don't think cheese really goes well with salmon and I don't have any of the ingredients that I would normally like to have with salmon, honestly. So I might just go, for, it's a little bit weird, but I might just go for the hat just to get the hat up, you know? Um, this is considered seafood and carbs and healthy, which is good too. Um, if I pop some salt in here, that will of course improve the flavor. And uh, I honestly can improve the flavor even more by adding even more salt, very salty fish. I wouldn't normally do this, but again, I'm, I'm mostly just playing, at this point I'm kind of playing this, the recipe rating at the moment, and we can always change it and stuff later. We add a little olive oil, that actually reduces it greatly. Nobody likes olive oil with fish, which yeah, see what I'm saying? Um, what else goes good with fish? Not, I wouldn't say fruit. You gotta have some vegetables with it too, right? Um, maybe we just add some... We could just add, uh, maybe some potatoes? But I don't know, I wouldn't have potatoes with fish though. I don't know of that. I don't, I don't personally like onions, but the game says onions go really well with it which is kind of odd. I wouldn't think that that's the case, but yeah, a little bit of onion, I guess. Um, we don't have a whole lot of sweetness or sourness in this. We could add a little bit of that by adding a little bit of tomato into the mix. And again, just slice it down. And then we want to also make sure we don't lose the veggie tag because we want to keep that at the two, I think, for the vegetarians. Although, yeah, because the vegetarians will still eat. I think they'll still eat the salmon, right? Vegetarians? Vegetarians don't eat salmon. They don't. I don't know if they eat that or not. Maybe mm, it's hard to tell what's going to make things better and what's going to make things worse, you know, because as somebody who doesn't really cook in his real life, that's kind of like, I'm not sure. I don't really want two different types of fish, right? Like we don't, we're not, not going to put anchovies with salmon. Like, no. Okay. I've been playing around with this for a little bit. Just trying to figure out like kind of all the combinations stuff that work together and I can't seem to get this rating any higher than 85 without just making it really salty. So I think what we're going to do for, for now is we're going to take Charlie's salmon and we're just going to leave it like this at 85 for hats. And then when we unlock new ingredients or we get more wine because we haven't actually unlocked wine yet, we can just simply add that to this dish and then it can kind of like come with it that way. Um, so our total cost here, I, I have swapped the pasta and the fresh pasta because the fresh pasta is way more expensive and it turns out that the real difference between them as far as the rating is kind of negligible and this is way cheaper so our average cost for the our cost for the ingredients is now three dollars and 44 cents so this is going to be chardley's salmon we're going to save that for now and get chardley's salmon added to the menu in main courses uh, right here. So we're going to offer some sort of seafood dish. It's not considered healthy. Hang on. Why it, Why did it lose the healthy tag? Did I add more? Did I add too much salt or what? Like what happened to the, what happened to my healthy tag? It's not the, it can't be that. Oh, I've lost all my, I lost my vegetable tag. I lost everything. Maybe it was the fresh pasta. Wait, it, did I lose it because of the fresh pasta? Oh, wow. So the fresh pasta has this added benefit of being a little bit more, it's a little bit more expensive, but it has the added benefit of giving me the healthy tag. So the fresh pasta is simply healthier than the regular pasta. And we go two star and it's now up to 414. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know. Like, I think, I think I might go ahead and keep it this price because I really need the money at the at this point. So I think we'll, we'll, we'll go with keeping fresh pasta in here. So it's like a salmon pasta dish, right? With broccoli, it's a little bit of salt. It's really simple and I'd love to add more things to it. I just don't have anything that I really want to add to this. I don't, 
I don't think so. I mean, granted, I'm not somebody who likes some of this stuff. So, you know, in all actual fact, like if I added onions, would it would it actually improve the dish, right? Not really. It doesn't do anything to help me with the dish. If I added mushrooms, for example, it, it only hurts the dish. It doesn't add anything, right? I go garlic, right? It doesn't help the dish. You know, there's nothing that's I'm adding. I haven't been able to add anything so far that raises the rating of this any higher than 85. Um, even if I go with like potatoes, it's just like nothing there, right? T regular old tomatoes, even good tomatoes. It goes to 87, I guess. I didn't actually see that happen before, but but it also raises the cost of 440 and it's not worth that change. So I think maybe what we'll do is we'll just leave these on two star ingredients and it'll be a little bit of fresh pasta, broccoli, salmon, and we get the healthy tag. We get to, we get to keep that in the dish too. So this will be Chardley's salmon. And as we get, you know, more and more ingredients unlocked, we'll look, I'm, I think I'm gonna go and attack the wine next just so I can have that offering, right? I wanna start drawing those people through the door and when they come in, I want them to be happy with what they got. Um, we're also, I'm also noticing that my tables are kind of getting full, which is really good. And I think we are, yeah, we're really full. And this guy is a, okay, pause. This guy is one single guy, but he's gonna take up this table for four, right? Um, we want to have more of these single tables in. So now we're getting into hopefully profitability by having more people in our restaurant at a time. Um, did we, did it, was it this uh, table or was it this one? I think it was this one, right? Um, I'm going to put you right here. Same thing with you there, right? And I think I want to have you know, another couple of single tables in here somewhere too. I guess it is just going to be along the edge for now. Uh, you know what? We could probably get rid of that. I'm going to have one more table for four here too. I don't think I changed the color of these. Yeah. yeah these are different colors. I, I'm doing this. I'm doing this wrong. Yeah. These are definitely different colors. Let's go ahead and d ditch these for a second. Um, grab this table. We're going to put one right. Uh, let's put it here. I'll, I'll put it right here next to it. That. And then I'll put another one like this and then flip it over and we'll have another one like this. Imminent bankruptcy. Oh, 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 hey, hey there. <laughs> the bank wanted to let you know that you're now officially poor. Uh, they remind you that you, they won't let you stay in the red for much longer. Holy lasagna. All right. So I just wanted to add extra tables so that we could have more people stay, right? Like that was the whole, I don't want to be full and be like, well, we can't seat you, right? We don't want that. And look at how many people are out here waiting. Oh, they were waiting for so long. Are you guys cheapskates or like good? Like, are you guys really, oh, I can't click them and find out. Dude, we are actually really busy. Uh, I'm worried that we're not going to be able to satisfy our customers or their service needs at this point, because I don't think we, I'm not sure we have the wait staff to support this. Uh, let's take a look at some of the reviews. We have just got cheapskate reviews, but all of them are actually really liking our prices as cheapskates. Um, let's maybe change that a little bit. I'm gonna bump. Oh, Charlie's salmon is 344. That's a problem. Oh, I'm losing money on the salmon. I didn't change the price. Uh, okay, so 344, uh, sorry, 414 is our cost. Let's pop this at $14. That's really high, but you know what? I want people to I want people to really like my food. Okay. They're going to pay for it. If they really like my food, they're going to pay for it. Uh, you know what? This one is going to go up one and I think the, these ones here are all really good recipes, right? So let's bump this to 10. Let's um, the boneless soup. I think we'll put this at 425 and then charge chicken noodle. We'll bump this to 7. All right. Like what I was thinking before is every time someone says, oh, I can't believe you're making us pay these prices that those guys are cheapskates, right? If you're okay. See, here's, here's our big problem. We have seven people waiting to check out seven families waiting to check out. We do not have the wait staff to support this. We need more people. Holy crap. We're getting busy. Okay. So, uh, we're going to need to search for candidates. That's going to cost us a hundred bucks. Then we're gonna have to hire people. Now, the cool thing about hiring people, and it gave us a chef, darn it. Um, the cool thing about hiring people this late in the game though, is that they do cost 70, but they come with points. So 
Josepha here, right, it comes with 15 points to spend. So I can come in and be like, okay, I want you to be really fit, fast, really good and friendly, but let's have you taking the bill really fast. And uh, then we'll distribute your other points like this. And notice how he is like really good compared to the other weight staff, right? Like he's coming in, he's coming in really good, right? Um, we'll actually do, let's do fast delivery and take orders a little faster. Okay, good. And then like, I'm, I'm almost tempted to get yet another wait staff because having four people, I'm not sure is enough. Like look at how many people are out here waiting and we don't have enough, ta I don't think we have enough tables. This is like, yeah, this is a concern. The fact that they're leaving because they couldn't get here is a big problem. I have an extra waiter now, so hopefully that's gonna be something we can address. Uh, these guys are cheapskates. They've ordered cod salad, uh, great steak and potatoes. Wow, a cheapskate with ordering steak. That's, that's surprising actually. Well, the prices here are quite high. You know you should lower your prices. My uncle has a restaurant and his prices are way better. Um, <laughs> we'll definitely do that or not. <laughs> Discussing with some people is pointless and will have no consequences. Nice. Your uncle will soon be proud owner of a failing business. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Discussing with some people is pointless. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your, your uncle will be soon be the proud owner of a failing business. <laughs> Love it. Pay up. All right, so hopefully our wait staff can hopefully get the bills because if they leave without paying, that's a big problem, right? Like that means they, we had the cost associated with making their meal, but they didn't pay us the money that was needed for it. And now we have seven people, eight people queued up at the door. Oh my, God. you know what? Like this might be overstepping here, but I'm going to get another one. I'm bringing in Elena. I'm going to get one more waiter. Um, this like might be detrimental to everything because of like having to pay them, but... Um, yeah, no, we're gonna get, I gotta get another waiter on the floor right now. Cause like, there's just too many people waiting, right? I don't want these guys leaving. I want their money, right? Get in here and give me your money. Uh, ingredient list. Okay, pause it really quick. Now we're not gonna have very good wine, but uh, we do have one ingredient point and I'm going right for the wine. We're not gonna have very good wine to start, but I think red wine is something that uh, we should definitely look into having so let's do that we'll go back to our menu find the salmon and what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of wine to the dish now it looks like that has actually reduced its quality which is odd because these guys like wine but apparently that's not good enough Wow it does nothing it actually reduces the dish adding wine reduces it maybe I should have ch chose white wine instead Oh, well, oh well, I guess. Who would have thought that adding alcohol would be a bad thing? <laughs> uh, I didn't, not me. Atmosphere wasn't great. Okay, blue collar. These guys are blue collar. I'm not super concerned about their atmosphere rating, but they really liked the prices, but they thought the service wasn't very fast and the food wasn't very good. But I'm not, I'm not trying to cater to the blue collar people. I'm hoping I can get other yeah, cheapskates, cheapskate. Uh, blue collar, cheapskate, lower class family. Okay, didn't order anything yet. Let's check out, let's follow this lower ca the lower class family here and see what we can do for this. Wow, they, this place is booking, dude. Look at how many people are here now. Oh man, kitchen staff, are you guys okay? I mean, it doesn't look like you're making anything right now, so I guess you're probably fine. Nobody's ordering anything. I guess these guys just take a long time to eat, right? Like they do take a long time to eat. We gotta get the bill, let's go. Uh, I got one skill point, which I might put into um, maybe seafood, find something else. Fish tartare, fish soup, roasted fish, fried fish. Uh, I really wanna get this last point of fitness though. Uh, desserts would probably be a good thing though. Pies, cookies, pastries, cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. Can we ever? Ice cream is pretty popular. Hmm? Pastries. Uh, let's save the point. I think the fitness point is worth more than anything else. Okay, it's 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. How are we doing on getting people seated? Is anybody leaving because they couldn't get seated? 
No, I think we're doing okay there. Yeah, I mean, this place is so full. Look at it go. And we got enough wait staff, I think, that we can handle this now. At least I'm hoping. I'm hoping that having the extra wait staff isn't like draining my bank account, though. Like, so far, we are still negative. We're just struggling to get into the black, but I need to be well into the black by the end of the day. Otherwise, I'm really in debt. So that's the hard part, is like trying to figure that out. Okay, pause. We have one influence point. I want to get here. This has the upper class families, and it has, you know, it's got lower class families, but it's got the upper class families too. And they're like, they're right next to us. Uh, the only other way, the only thing, other thing I can do, this is the lower class families. Um, this right here looks like, and not a whole lot there for tourists and stuff either, but this has the upper class families and I really want to get some influence there. So let's go we'll get that point in there. And then um, if we work this direction. It looks like we'll have even more like the lower class families and stuff. So like we're going to be a family restaurant, but we really want to pull in upper class families as much as we can. We actually have two suburbs like right here next to us. So if we can get them to come out of the suburbs, come out into the country and have a good meal, that'd be awesome. But it's about it's about drawing them in, right? Currently, we, we can't because we just don't have enough elegance here for that to matter. But I think if we add a, some more, and again, I'm just now in the just now positive with my money, so I don't really want to buy anything right now. But uh, and look at they're all working so hard. Oh man, they're even with this many wait staff, they're working super hard. All right, I'm gonna have you on pause because we don't have a full house right now. Let's have you guys. Let's have you guys go pause really quick. Get yourself recovered. There you go. See now he switched into being really tired. Pause you, pause you. Let's activate you. Like, I don't want to have to man micromanage this. I'm just going to let him go. I'd rather have just really good service for everybody who's here, right? All right, so we're going to have really good service. Hopefully, really good food. We have 24 new reviews today. Let's check it out. And uh, it says mediocre place. This is a food enthusiast. These guys are going to pay great money. So let's see what he thinks. Well, where does he begin? Okay, that's not good. Uh, the furnishing was really, truly horrid. Okay, we're going we're gonna to work on these, guys, okay? The staff took proper care of us. That part was covered. I, I did my part there. The prices are very good for the restaurant like this, but I can't ignore the fact that the furnishing was truly horrid and I got a terrible jacked potato. Okay, so he didn't quite like the food and that's that's okay, he's a food enthusiast, so he's gonna be harder to please. Um, and we're gonna work on that too. Uh, but the atmosphere was what he really didn't care for. And if I take a look really quick at the furnishings, food enthusiasts, okay, so they really like elegant. I don't have a whole lot of elegance there yet right now. I do have a little bit of money. I would like other people to really have good reviews because uh, I feel like that's gonna help my popularity a bit. Ooh, I already have a point. Look at this. They already have another influence point. Well, that's very fortunate. Um, another one here then, go. There we go, um, go. And then uh, I wanna look at your furnishings. Let's add just something that adds a little bit more elegance to the place. And that's gonna probably be this too modern uh vintage clock does plus one cost a hundred the mirror does plus two cost 200 that's pretty proportionate okay so we can put the mirror put the mirror here and that's gonna get the lower class tourists involved cool um and then i can also put this vintage clock change the color of it a little bit we'll put that like right here Okay, so that adds a little bit more elegance to the place. I don't know if that's necessarily going to change their opinion of my ambiance, but we're going to give that a shot and see. I spent a bunch of money, but I'm trying to get higher paying customers in, and that process is very expensive. But look at them all come in. We're still full. It's 8 o'clock. It's rush hour. Look at this. We're still full. There are some people leaving. They've been out here a while, though. Yeah, there are some people leaving. It's because I have no tables. I'm completely full, guys. We just can't get a table. That's how popular we are. There's no tables available. And that's that's actually unfortunate. Um, if I can get... Let's see. There's a couple of people still outside. I know it's late in the day, but a couple of people still outside. Let me see if I can get them to come out in here. Um, we're going to switch and go with group tables on this side. So we'll go one, let's say, here. Uh, let's see. Here. Here. 
and it will fit here if I move that plant. Let's get that out of here. And we'll put you, and again, this is like you just had profit. You just had a, you had positive money and now you do not. Yeah, basically what just happened. I had positive money and now I don't. Um, I might just get rid of that rustic plant actually. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Okay, so we added a little more elegance. Most importantly though, we added more seating. So hopefully we can now seat people. Let's get, let's get that done if, pos if possible. There we go. Get him in. Okay, good. <sighs> this game. Oh, look at we got another point. So we're getting some. We're getting these influence points really fast now, and I like that a lot. Um, yes, yeah, let's, let's pump it in. Another one. So we're getting a total of thirty-eight hundred perspective upper class family people now, which is good. But we are not necessarily doing well in their eyes, right? Because take a look at the stats panel. People. Okay. Upper class family, high budget families. They like seafood and dessert. They dislike carbs and they dislike vegan. Okay, hang on. So seafood without carbs. Seafood without carbs. My salmon has carbs. Give me a second. So it's probably, it's the pasta. If we remove the pasta, it actually improves the dish. Wow, the whole time, really. Can I add wine? I mean, they like wine. I thought they liked wine. Maybe they don't like wine. That actually improves the dish. Just flat out salmon, broccoli, and salt. <laughs> like, I feel like you should, I feel like we should be doing something else other than just salmon, broccoli, and salt. But uh, hey, if it's really good salmon, then why not, right? Speaking of really good salmon, uh, let's go into our ingredient. Uh, first off, I guess I'll overwrite this. And then we'll go in, because it lowers our costs and makes the meal better, I guess. Um, we're gonna go to ingredients panel, here it is. And uh, I mean, I could get the white wine, the white wine. Um, other margarine, vegetable stock, uh, mustard. We could get some nuts. What about peanuts? You know, I, I, again, this is one of those things where like people who cook a lot, you're probably gonna say, yeah, really? Those two together, but uh, salmon and peanuts? I know, I'm just saying, like, I think that would, I think that would go okay. Um, but peanuts might work well with like ice cream, like desserts and stuff. Can I, where are the prospective desserts? You know, dairy. Is it, it's over here, other, like chocolate and stuff, right? I mean, we could have like ice cream and add chocolate to the ice cream, right? And then we add uh, some peanuts in there, right? That's, that's good for desserts, because they like dessert, right? The upper class like dessert. We need to cater to dessert here pretty quick. So I'm thinking I'm gonna grab some peanuts. And then um, we want better, better chocolate, I think, yeah. And then um, for the final point, let's add something else that they would probably like in their dessert. Oh, look, there's Worcestershire sauce right there. Nice. Maybe just rum. Sake. Red beer, red wine. I mean, brandy's pretty elegant. Upper class family and their brandy, you know? Who knows? Maybe they'll like it. Not really bad brandy, though. I probably want better brandy than that. Pistachios. Um, soy, soy milk. We gotta have, like, strawberries. Yeah. Strawberries in the ice cream. Oh, for sure. Okay. So we'll add some strawberries. Not, not very good strawberries, mind you, but strawberries nevertheless. And then if we go to recipe editor and hit new recipe. Oh, we can't do ice cream yet because... Hang on. Hang on. Um, so I have a point. Actually, I have three points. <gasps> Ooh, that's tempting because I really wanted to go down ice cream now. But if I go ice cream, I can't get the fitness point. And I really want the fitness point. Yeah, I should do the fitness point. Let's do the fitness point. It's way more important, like, over the long term. Uh, Cora, you have one point. Let's get you on... I don't know, man. You're already two points on dessert. That's pretty good. Just go... You know what? Make you better on the soups, I guess. And then, uh, Lily. I'll give you a point in cleaning. Okay. Oh, man. Dude, Cora's gonna have a fit, dude. And me, I'm already tired. Oh, the kitchen staff is super tired. Damn. All right. You know what? If you guys can just hold off a little while longer, I can maybe. Oh, we're so busy. We're so busy. 
We're so busy. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I don't know how we did today. Um, I don't know how we did today, but I know a lot of people are leaving because they can't be seated. Because uh, we're just that busy. Yes, our popularity has grown. Thank you very much. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Just the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, advertisements unlocked. Oh, good. We can advertise because I totally need that at this point. You can finally roam the internet and unleash the true power of a dying media. Blogs. Time to learn Chef Press. So Chef Press is where? Restaurants panel, character leveling. I thought you were... I don't know. Chef Press is in here somewhere. It's maybe some policies and decisions. Yeah, yeah. Blogs. So we can spend... A little bit, right? An outreach for blogs, if we want to. Uh, it costs us 500 a day, but we gain, we guaranteed to gain an influence point every day. We can try to attract high budget tourists, food enthusiasts. Uh, we can try to, can I try to attract high? I think you need like other forms to attract the higher. I mean, high budget tourists are okay. Hourly $12, ouch. Mm, I think we're I think we're okay here. I don't think I need to do anything necessarily. Although this right here would help the ambience a lot. But until I can see that we're actually profitable, I'm not doing that. And I don't know if we're gonna be profitable today. I mean, we are definitely positive in money even though I hired more staff. But uh, my avatar has zero morale right now. You spent days cooking and giving orders, and the result is that you are so tired and nervous that you started screaming around the kitchen, insulting both the staff and the customers. Some morale will be recovered immediately, but you lose some popularity. Ouch. How much? I have 155 now. I lost 50? Ouch. Okay, that's super important. Um, yeah, that's, that's stupid important. Um... Aya, you're in. We need another chef, like, right now. And, uh, Aya, you are going to be uh, really good on fitness. We need that, um, for sure. I want you to be really great at the, ma at the main course cooking. And, honestly, let's go main course all the way there. And then um, we'll get you a point in soups and two points in dessert and one an appetizer and then i guess the other one can be salads all right that's aya she's a she's another chef for us now uh we'll get side dishes for you too and then waiter santiago get you in on, cook, on cleaning and myself we'll just chill just chill okay i got maxed out fitness now but it's just too busy today right that's the idea that's the thing it's just it's just so busy that's why. You lost some popularity and your world shift ranking has decreased. Um, I was at 155. Oh, man. All right. That's so, yeah, yeah. Getting the morale and not being overworked and stuff is really, really important. So um, definitely need to just take a break, dude. Just, just rest. Don't do anything, okay? Just rest. And then as soon as he rests, hopefully he'll recover. Maybe I'll just take, say take a day off kind of thing, right? And I think it's really late at night, so why don't we just have Cora do the same thing right now? And Aya can just take every order at this point, because it's really late at night. We're not going to have that many customers at this point, so. But I really need you guys to just to cool it, right? Get yourself recovered, please. Everybody's tired. Look at this. We have grown so much. We have good, good profits now, too. I, th I really think I do. I need to hire more people even. This is exciting. And we're going to take a look at the results of the day in the next video. You had to see that coming. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you uh, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Your engagement and comments in the and stuff. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and everything. When you guys comment, it helps videos grow. It helps videos get discovered by more people. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.